Okay, so my toilet is a little bit different than yours, but we're gonna take this cap out, which this is gonna be tough to do with one hand, but so we've got the cap out. I'm going to turn the water off, which I'm doing down there. Flush it and make sure that it's off. Sure is. So then I'm gonna so I do this without getting my hands in the way too. Lift this arm up a little bit and then turn. You see how this thing comes out? And now we've taken this out. There's a little diaphragm on the bottom there. And then <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it with two hands, but you're gonna put a cup over this and turn the water on a little bit so it deflects the water back in. Um, I don't think I can do this with one hand, but now that you've got the thing out, you're going to turn the water on a little bit, so that water comes out of there, but more than I'm going to turn it on, but you see how that's going to flush that thing out, but you'll turn it on more. Then I, since I'm doing it with one hand, I'm going to put a cup over top of it and turn it on a little bit more so it pushes anything that's stuck out in there. Turn it back off. And this little diaphragm right here should feel pliable. You see the little rubber gasket there? If it seems hard, it doesn't seem like soft rubber then you might need a new little diaphragm right there you can get those at any hardware store it's for a fluid master fill valve and you're gonna put this back in you see how this pops right back in and then you're using the arm to turn it and lock it into place which I'm having a little trouble with So I've locked it back into place and I turn the water back on. Water shouldn't come out of here. So if it's if you have water coming out of here, then you might need to turn it a little bit tighter. But there. That would be part of the problem. The other problem, I don't have the big piston thing. I have an American Standard toilet. I just have a regular flapper. But you very well may need to also replace the gasket at the bottom of that piston thing. There's a red gasket. You can get the you can get the gasket at any hardware store really, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, all that stuff. And I will send you a link to the one. That you will need to replace that gasket at the bottom. Let me know if that helps you out and um, we could certainly take it from there. Bye!